Welcome to the second part of our bookkeeping series. If you haven't watched part one, where we go over what bookkeeping is, why it's important, and how to choose the right method for your business, click the link in the description to check it out. In this video, we're covering four steps you can take today to build a solid foundation of bookkeeping best practices. These are getting a business bank account, recording income and expenses digitally, establishing a regular bookkeeping routine, and choosing a system. Keep watching to learn how to set yourself up for ongoing success. The single biggest favor you can do for yourself and your business is to set up a business bank account to ensure your business money stays separate from your personal money. Why? Separating your business and personal money helps you save time when filing taxes, ensure you never overlook an expense, get every tax deduction you're qualified for, reduce the risk of errors, and most importantly, keep the IRS happy. It's also important to track your business expenses by storing receipts and copies of invoices you send. The best way to stay organized is to keep digital records. Don't get into the habit of stuffing your documents into a drawer or leaving them on your desk and calling it a day. Something to keep in mind, bookkeeping isn't something you just do once. It's an ongoing process you need to do regularly to truly manage your business's financial health. Trust us, it'll make things way easier come tax time. A simple way to hold yourself accountable is to block time in your calendar just for bookkeeping. Choose a time you know you'll do it. Are you a Monday at dawn or a Friday night fan? Either way, we respect that. On that note, make it into something fun. Grab a snack and put on your favorite get done music. The team here at Wave has an affinity for Lizzo, but you didn't hear that from me. The next step is to choose a bookkeeping system. And in our humble opinion, accounting software is the most efficient way to go. Even better, choose software that offers a total money management solution so you'll have everything you need whenever you need it, including invoicing, payments, payroll, and coaching all in one place. This stops you from spending hours searching for solutions and creating your own tech stack to manage your money, which gets harder as you grow. Now, let's go over the pros and cons of doing your bookkeeping yourself versus hiring a bookkeeper to do it for you. DIY bookkeeping can help save you money and ensure you stay on the pulse of your finances. You get to keep an eye on every transaction your business makes, but it can also take up precious time that could go towards running your business. Plus, if you're the only one handling your books, the pressure's on you to make sure everything is accurate. Hiring a bookkeeper can help you save time and they'll bring expert knowledge and an objective assessment of how your business is doing. For example, if you're a Wave customer, Wave's in-house coaches are a great option and can provide you with personalized one-on-one -on -one bookkeeping or accounting help. On the con side, bookkeepers are more expensive than DIYing it with a free software, and finding a bookkeeper who you can trust isn't always easy. There are a lot of considerations at play, so take your time deciding what's right for you. You can always switch to a bookkeeper if you find DIY bookkeeping isn't working for you, or vice versa, one of the perks of being the boss. And there you have it. Everything you need to set your bookkeeping practices up for long-term success. To recap, here are the four steps we covered that you can get started on right now. Get a separate business bank account. Keep digital records of your income and expenses. Book regular time for bookkeeping. Choose a system. Of course, every business is unique, so before you get started, it's always best to speak with an accounting professional who can help you decide what's best for your business. And whether it's our software or our content, remember, Wave is here to help business owners like you get really good at managing money. Ready to keep learning about small business bookkeeping? Check out our third and final video in the series where we cover the five steps of bookkeeping. 